The election is just around the corner, so Globe News spoke with Christopher Anderson, clerk of the circuit court in Elkhart County, about the steps to voting. Well, the first thing, and uh, this goes for anybody that's voting in person, uh, either the during the 28 days leading up to the election, the absentee in person, or on election day, sure. they need to have uh, a photo ID that is issued by the state of Indiana or by the federal government. Uh, there are several different uh, versions of IDs that qualify for that. Obviously, your Indiana driver's license or your Indiana state ID card, uh, those qualify for that because they're issued by the state. Uh, depending on the student IDs from a state school, IU, Purdue, Ball State, uh, so on and so forth, they may qualify. There are specific things that need to be on that photo ID. Um, your U.S. passport will also qualify because that's issued by the federal government. Uh, depending on the Department of Defense, uh, your VA ID, they can also qualify also. Uh, the second thing is, and I would ur urge all, the, all voters to um, take a look at their candidates. Utilize indianavoters.in.gov. At that website, a voter can uh, put in their name and their date of birth and uh, the county that they're registered in, and they can pull up specifically who is going to be on their ballot. If you forgot your ID, you can still vote. It's not very common.